New calls to fix a half billion dollar blunder. Welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Haley Wilgus. We begin tonight with an investigation from our state capitol newsroom. A bipartisan group of lawmakers recently found Tennessee owes its only publicly funded historically black college around half a billion dollars. The money earmarked for Tennessee State University under land grants never made it there. Uh, you know, are you are we doing a disservice to all the other universities on trying to recruit African American students <laughs> and minority students because y'all have made such an aggressive promise to these students? to come there that they're bypassing and get a same education. I mean, uh, what, I'm trying to figure out in my <laughs> mind, <laughs> all this, all of a sudden 2,000 <laughs> students out of the blue decided, no pun intended, because of the, the colors blue. of the school. <laughs> yeah, out of why, the blue. why did they come to TSU? Was it the aggressive marketing campaign or was it because? What's the high standards of TSU, the quality education they're going to get at TSU? are talking about the massive underfunding of one of the two land-grant institutions in Tennessee. Tennessee State had been underfunded uh, close to $544 million in state matching funds. A bipartisan legislative committee report details how Tennessee did not match federal land grants given to Tennessee State University as required by law. This is significant because when the state does not provide those matching funds, the university oftentimes has to make those funds available themselves for that particular federal grant. To deal with issues from infrastructure, expanding coursework and staff to recruitment of students by shuffling general funds. This is what happens when you don't have that required funding to come in properly. Uh, issues are deferred and put off and you end up in a situation where you have dire needs of repairs out there. Met with board members of TSU to talk about uh, the appropriate funding what that funding should be used for, how much it should be, uh, where the investments should be made. Uh, those are all ongoing conversations. I'm hopeful and believing that in the midst of the re committee reporting out how much Tennessee State is owed. The Tennessee Higher Education Commission produced a report last year that showed over $337 million of deferred maintenance is still needed on campus. 